Was that legitimate when uh, Kurt Angle supposedly hurt you? And uh, I'll tell you what was legitimate. The elbow was legitimate. The clothesline I didn't feel. The hitting with the shoes was legitimate, and the ankle lock I didn't feel. Um, you can find pictures of me on the internet of my, I look like the elephant man. Um, what happened was I, I actually that day was at a um, trade show for my other company in Orlando. And I only got to TV instead of getting there for the production meeting. I had permission from Jeff just to get there like an hour before. And so we didn't really have a lot of time to go over what we were going to do. I didn't know until I got there that it was going to be physical or physical. And... Uh, we really didn't have a lot of time to go over it and I think that Kurt and he said all but so was afraid that if he didn't lay the elbow in a little bit good that I would because I'm not a, a, a worker that I wasn't gonna sell it right I don't think he intended to do what he did um, the shoe thing he was supposed to hit me over the head with the shoe and I was supposed to go like that so he would only hit my arms but he swung wildly and it went over and hit the other side. So I had huge bumps. You can look it up, you can Google it. Huge uh, bumps on both sides. I did get a nice bonus. What are your thoughts on Kurt Angle going into the WWE Hall of Fame? Kurt's a great wrestler. Kurt's a great guy. Kurt's beaten his, uh, his demons. You know, I saw him in TNA when, you know, you obviously he wasn't, you know, all, uh, he wasn't, you know, you know, he was definitely on some stuff. I don't know what it was. Uh, he'll admit to it. I know he had some DUIs. Um, Kurt's a good guy. He turned his life around. He had a hard situation with what happened with Karen and, and that whole situation and found another woman that he's now, I think, on their third child. I wish Kurt nothing but uh, I mean, here's a guy who won an Olympic gold medal in, in Greco-Roman wrestling with a broken neck. One of the toughest guys in the world. Freestyle wrestling. Freestyle wrestling. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, with a broken neck. So, and you know, er, you know, everybody that's watching this knows that. So, um, I think he'd love to do one more match. Uh, my personal opinion is they're not going to let him do it, but we'll see. And you don't have to answer this one if you don't want to, but it's, I've never really heard the real story on this. What exactly happened with uh, Jeff Jarrett taking Kurt Angle's wife? I have no idea. My personal opinion, quite frankly, is that while it was, it was a bad situation when it all came out in the open, I think Dixie overreacted to it by sending Jeff home and, and handling it the way she did. I mean, we're all adults. Yes, it was messy. Uh, but uh, I think everybody could have probably figured out a way to deal with it. I know so because they made an angle out of it a year later. So uh, I didn't know until I knew. Jeff wasn't, I showed up at TV one day and Jeff wasn't there and there was no mention of Jeff. And Jeff used to run the production meetings and I said to you know such and such, where's Jeff? You don't want to talk about it. Somebody, where's Jeff? You don't want to talk about it. Finally, I heard someone, somebody else talking about it, and I'm like, uh, as is my history, I stayed as far away from that because that was a uh, that was a uh, at the time it was uh, it was a pretty tense situation.